Okay guys, I don't even know if this video will make it to my YouTube channel or not, so I'm sorry if this has bad audio or bad quality of video because I'm recording this with my iPhone. I just got from my trip to the USA and I don't have my camera here, I need to charge it, I need to empty like the SD cards, I just borrowed my lights to a friend while I was out, so right now I don't have anything with me, but I just need to get something out of my chest and speak the truth about something that happened to me, so I'm going to record this with my phone and let's see if this is going to be up on my channel or not. I'm not that kind of girl that wants to start like drama with other people, especially like a company or a big company that I might one day work with or something. So I'm always careful not to do this kind of things. But I was just thinking to myself that instead of like doing or giving a bad review to the company that I'm going to talk to you guys about, I thought I have this big platform that I'm so grateful for. I thought this might be more like powerful than just a bad review and I can just share with as many people as I can so it doesn't happen to those people too. As you probably know by the title of this video, if I get to upload this, I had like the worst experience on a plane, on a flight that I ever had in my life. Like, I don't know if you're here for a while or not or if you're new to this channel, but I've been doing like some traveling vlogs and I, I travel a lot. Like I. Since I was a kid, I'm so grateful that my parents, at a certain point of their lives, were able to travel and were able to take me with them. I've been traveling with my family a lot, so I've been to a lot of countries, like 15 or more countries, I don't know. And I've done like short flights, I've done like long flights, but nothing ever went wrong like this, because a lot of things went wrong on this flight. So I went to the United States, as you probably know, because I think I'm going to upload this after the vlog. So the first thing that I'm going to clear out is that like my traveling was amazing to the United States. I really loved the experience and I would love to come back and I really loved everything about the travel except the flight back home. And right now I'm talking about the flight that I did from LA to Barcelona. And this was with the Norwegian Airlines company. And this is the first time that I ever traveled with them. So as I was telling you guys, I have done a lot of long flights already in my life and they are almost pretty the same. So what they do is you get on the plane and usually they get like a pillow for you and a blanket, a small blanket. And usually between like one or two meals. And I'm talking about economic class. I never traveled in uh, business or first class so I'm all of this that I'm talking about is economy class this was the first time that they didn't like offer anything I never flew in a company or a plane that wouldn't like give you anything not even water I think you need to have some comfort when you're doing this the airlines have a lot of people and they want to reduce the cost of everything but like you need to guarantee like the minimum of comfort to the people that are going to fly on your plane so we are talking about 10 hours or more where they didn't give us anything. There wasn't like headphones, so if you don't bring yours, you are screwed. You can't watch anything. You have a screen, but you can't hear anything. They don't give you any food. I saw people like getting food, but only some people because they said that we needed to pre-order. So I'm thinking that they paid for the food. I'm not sure. And on the screen, they had like some snacks that you can buy, but they didn't offer anything. And here on this plane from Norwegian, not even the water was free. So the bottle of water was like $3, a small bottle of water. It was a lot of unluck on this trip for us too, because we always do like the prior online check-in so we can guarantee like the seats that we want or we can choose the seats. And this time, I don't know, we booked our flights with Kiwi.com. I don't know if it was because of that, but I don't think so. Neither Kiwi could do the online check-in for us. Neither Norwegian website allowed us to do it either. We were also kind of stressed about it, but I was like, okay, no problem, let's get to the airport and do the check-in and let's see what seats we have. When I got there, we kindly asked the lady on the check-in if we could get, if there were any emergency seats available. 
emergency exit seats you know that you have a little bit more of room for your legs and she was like a, I don't even know how to explain like she was not that maybe professional or not that serious she was like laughing and and she was like okay let me see if they are available let me see what I can do at the same time that I asked this the other lady from Norwegian Airlines that was doing the check-in next to her I heard her saying to the family okay so I'm gonna give you emergency exit seats I was looking like they didn't ask for it and I asked and you heard me asking and you given to them okay but I, I was not mad about that I was just kind of confused what is happening the girl like that was attending me she starts like laughing a lot and talks to her other colleague and says like oh I see what you're doing here and, she, and they start laughing I was like okay do what you have to do I'm not mad at all just finish the check-in for me please she finished the check-in she told me that there weren't any other emergency exit seats and we finished our check-in everything was fine so when we get to the plane we went to look for our seats and there was already a lady seated like next to the aisle so we asked her to let us go to the window where we had our seats just me on the window my boyfriend and that lady I feel sorry for her like really really sorry because it was such a bad flight for me I because of all that happened I'm gonna get to that soon but I just was really sick on the plane and a lot of stuff happened and the lady needed to just get off her seat a lot of times because of me because I needed to go to the bathroom so I feel really sorry for this lady so whatever you are I'm sorry this lady was so so large that she couldn't really fit to the, to the seat you know so that thing that you have like the armrest it couldn't just go completely down because it was like hurting her I feel really sorry because I feel like it doesn't have like enough space for people that are that large so flight starts and I just plug this on and I start watching a movie after the movie I think I fell asleep I don't know maybe five ten minutes I don't know when I woke up I felt really really sick my stomach I feel like I was going to throw up and that's nothing new for me throwing up on a plane if this happens I go to the bathroom and I throw up and I'll be fine so when I woke up and felt like this I just asked my boyfriend please let me leave I need to go to the bathroom and he tells the lady and they both get out so I can leave as I was going to the bathroom I was just feeling sick nothing else but I remember just holding to the seats on both sides of the aisle like going and going and going and at this point I don't know what happened I just remember not seeing anything just hearing I only had like my hearing and maybe my touch I don't know I lost my sight and then I just heard like hey 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 be careful and it was like a man screaming and I think that his scream woke me up a little bit so I didn't think it right there I just lost the sight but I came back to my senses a little bit and I remember just feeling like his whole face my hand probably just went from the seat to his directly to his head and right now thinking about it is it's so awkward I was like holding this man that I I don't know I was holding his whole face and nose it was really weird so I think his scream and this little like comeback I was able to give this extra steps to the bathroom and it was just the, the amount of steps I needed because I was able to get to the bathroom I just opened the door I saw that it was like green it was clear so I just opened the door and I don't remember anything else at this point what my boyfriend told me was that he saw me on the aisle like going kind of dizzy he thought something was wrong so he just went running and when he got there he saw that I was like laying on the bathroom floor and he went up to me and trying to wake me up with water I remember waking up and I just saw him he was the only person with me at this time then I just remember this flying attendant this lady coming to the bathroom and she just stand like outside the bathroom but just looking at us and she was like what happened and my boyfriend explained everything to her at this moment I couldn't really like talk but he explained everything and then she looked at me and said like you cannot be here in the restroom you cannot be here and and I was like I'm sorry I'm just coming back to my senses give me a minute and she was again like you cannot sit on the restroom floor people want to go to the bathroom and want to use the restroom and I tried to get up 
and I fell back down because I didn't have any strength yet. I just told her, I need some more time to come back to my senses. Like the door was open, I wasn't doing anything bad, I was just lying on the floor. And right now looking back, what did I do? I shouldn't be like apologizing like I was, you know. I don't have any fault in this. I just fainted like some person just fainted and you are telling that she cannot be here. Like it's not a choice. I didn't like choose to be in this nasty floor filled with like pee. You know, it's not a choice, so I don't know why she's acting like this to me. And looking back into it, I shouldn't be apologizing like I was. But I don't know, I'm kind of shy and I'm always like trying to be polite. So she was like, I need you to get up and go back to your seat because you cannot be here. I just told her, please can you check if there's any available seat that is next to the bathroom or to the aisle so I can move freely because I couldn't see myself, I was not feeling good I couldn't see myself going back to my seat next to the window knowing that if I needed to throw up I, I couldn't move because I have my boyfriend then I have that lady that's really really large and it's hard for me to get out of my seat the thought of that was driving me crazy I was feeling really bad about going back to my seat so she was like okay let me see I was still in the bathroom and she came back and said okay we have three seats on the end of the plane that are completely empty. You can move there with your boyfriend. So I went there, we sat down there and I was feeling much better because it was in the back of the plane. A lot of more air was going through and I was kind of feeling better. Then I started hearing a lot of people like whispering behind us. Then the lady come to us, the flight attendant, and she says like, there was a mistake. These seats were not completely empty. There was a woman here that's now in the restroom, but she was taking this row of three seats to sleep. So she might be back here and we will tell her if she's able to share this seat with you guys. Then, comes the lady and first she sits down next to me and I thought that she was kind of nice because she was asking like oh what happened how are you uh, how are you feeling and I was telling her exactly what happened talking like small talk with us and I was talking with her and I explained everything that happened I thought that I was from Portugal she asked me stuff about the country she told me stuff about herself she was sounding like a nice person so I kept talking with her and then she started making questions like so you didn't like your seat is that it and I was like no it's not it I just fainted like I told you and she was like oh I see I see so you fainted on the bathroom and you were still able to call like the push the button to call the flight attendant and I was kind of like is she really like saying that I faked all of this to get to this seat. I don't even understand how she would think that I, I wanted this seat to myself because like I was seated, I was not laying down like she was before, like sleeping using the three seats. I was sitting on one seat. It was kind of shocking to me that she had like this attitude towards me. I was feeling so bad. I was trying to get back on my feet still and I'm, I'm still in a bad situation I'm feeling like really sick on my stomach but this lady wouldn't shut up because she wanted us out of the seat so her daughter was finally asleep so she took a sleeping pill and now she needed to sleep the entire flight so uh, at this point I was so tired of hearing the lady and I was like okay I'm going to go back to my seat because I can't handle this situation I'm not gonna like start arguing I don't even have the strength to stand up and we went back to the flight attendant and I told her okay so the lady next to me is telling me how she wants the whole entire row to herself because she took a sleeping pill and she really needs to sleep so I guess my only alternative is going back to my seat she didn't like went talk to the, the lady or anything she was like are you sure okay when i went back to my seat i started feeling really sick again i wanted to throw up so i told my boyfriend like i need to go to the bathroom again so once again we needed to go back to the bathroom the lady had to get out of her seat and we are causing all this trouble on the plane i was not feeling well about this either or making people uncomfortable on the flight so i just went to the bathroom and i said to my boyfriend okay i'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make sure I throw up because I really need to throw up otherwise I'm not gonna be okay so I went to the bathroom and I threw up and after throwing up I felt much better I don't want to say that 
uh, the reason why this flight was so bad for me and this experience was so bad was not because I fainted and it was not because I threw up because I threw up before on a lot of planes and it was okay I know that I need to throw up to feel better no problem that's not good either but what I'm trying to say was really bad was like the the airline and their uh, behavior during all this i want to share this story with you guys because if something happened like i fainted and i got back on my feet and everything is fine now but if something more serious happens to you like uh, any health problem during a flight i hope that you're not flying with norwegian airlines because if it wasn't for my boyfriend i would probably be in the bathroom like forever until i was able to get off on my own because no one no one came to help and that's weird for me because I don't know if it's from my country but I'm used to people being like very polite and helpful and I've been to a lot of countries where people are like that no one got up people that I was grabbing like that man I, I told you I was holding his face I was like falling in front of him and no one helped they left me like went all busy and fall into the bathroom on my own and even the flight attendant they saw my boyfriend like waking me up no one touched me, no one tried to help. I felt like you don't have any support, not from the crew, not from the people on the flight. I'm gonna give them a bad review because I don't think any of this process was fair. I don't think it's fair that you have 10 hours or more on a plane where you don't get food. Food and water should be like uh, mandatory in a plane of this long duration or at least they need to make sure they inform you that they don't have any food that's why i'm telling you guys this and my experience because i don't want it to happen to you too so i don't want to go like chasing down a company leaving bad comments or anything i don't know if all the flights from norwegian are like that or if it was just this one so i just wanted to know have you guys flew out with them has anyone been on a Norwegian Airlines plane? If you have any other topics that you want me to discuss about this, just let me know. And please let me know in the comments if you had any experience like this or any other really bad experience with some airline companies. Love you guys. Make sure you subscribe.